Uh, another prediction is the uh, death of Zainab bin Tajahash radiallahu anha. So you mentioned um, her life history a little bit in the past one, right? What was the miracle associated with her? Anybody remembers? A few weeks ago, I think. Uh, you remember the Walima? Walima of Rasulullah sallallahu when he, uh, when Ummah Umma Sulaim brought gift to Rasulullah sallallahu how so many people ate from that food, even though it was very limited quantity, it was uh, Zainab uh, bin Tajahash. So again, uh, he was writing the book. Hmm? That one was uh, uh, this, oh. a different person, yeah. This was not the one. Oh, Abu Huraira, that was the one. <laughs> now, this one is uh, Zainab bin Tajahash. So, what happened? By the way, uh, Zainab bin Tajahash, how was she related to Rasulullah apart from being a wife? Cousin. Cousin in what way? Yeah, the. Um, her uh, Rasulullah's aunt, what was her name? Uh, Umayma, right? Father, sister. She had a daughter, Zainab bin Jahash. That's they were cousins, and you know in Islam it's allowed to marry a cousin. So they they were the husband and wife. And what happened? One day, all the wives were sitting in a room. Uh, Rasulullah was talking to them, and he said, uh, "The one." who has the longest hands amongst you would meet me the earliest. So basically saying, I will be the first one to die and the first one to follow me among you people, among you wives, will be the person who has the longest hands. So they got curious, the wives got curious, who is that person? They started to look at each other's hands and they said that they got a, a, a stick to measure and they started measuring everybody's hands. And it is said that uh, Sauda radiallahu anha, her hand came out to be the longest. She was old either way, so she, they thought that, okay, she is going to die very soon. So, Rasulullah as I said, he passed away in 11th Hijri year. So many years went by, about 10 years, 11 years, 12 years. Nobody passed away, and none of the wives passed away. But in 23rd Hijri year, during the Khilafah of Umar radiallahu anha, uh -huh. uh, he uh, Zainab bin Tajahash radiallahu anha, she passed away. She passed away and uh, no, no one passed away before her. So they were wondering, she didn't have a long, longest hand when we measured. How come she passed away first? Then they referred, oh, linguistically in, in Arabic, the word that was used, long hands, it could mean not, uh, not only this hand, hand's length, but also referring to person's generosity, yeah. kindness. And, and, we, and it was known that this uh, lady, this mother of ours, she was very, very generous, very, very charitable, very kind, very God-fearing, and very uh, soft person. And it is said that when she passed away, the poor people of the city, they cried so much. Because it came out that you know she used to help us so much in you know in secret and in open that they started to immediately uh, miss her. So that was she was so famous because of her generosity. Hmm? Umul masakin is another word that's used because she was very very generous and Rasulullah actually praised her many times in front of many Sahaba that she is very God fearing, very hospitable, very modest. And even when she passed away, in order to give extra respect to her because of her that special modesty that she had, they, you know, covered it with a cloth, you know, just as a sign of modesty. So that's the miracle of Rasulullah that how the prediction came true. Twenty-third Hijri year, and Sauda radiallahu anha, she was very old, but she passed like long time later, like probably seventeen years later, fortieth Hijri year or so. So. That was the story. There was a wife who passed away actually before Rasulullah passed away, but that was very early on. Her name was also Zainab, by the way. But uh, when this hadith was being narrated, it was uh, she passed away already.